All right. Thank you all for being here. Showing up on Tuesday. Oh, it looks like Molly wants to join us today. <laughs> Um, so we're going to start with a couple breathing techniques and then we'll get moving into our align and flow. Um, so find a comfortable seat wherever, whatever works for you. Um, bring your hands onto your lap and we're going to start with a breath called Bostrika or bellows breath. And you can imagine like a small bag. So like you're breathing into a paper brown bag, you're filling up and then emptying out. So it's kind of that cat-cow motion with the spine. On the inhale, we open. Exhale, we close. We'll do three more. Exhale, hold at the bottom. Inhale, lengthen the spine back up. Feel the breath travel up the spine to the top of the head and then exhale down the spine to the base of the pelvis. Breathing in, a cool breath, and then breathing out, a warm breath. All right, we'll just do one more breathing technique. So double breath with tension. We're going to add cactus arms. You'll open up, take a deep breath in twice through the nose. Hold at the top, tense everything. Exhale, collapse, twice out the mouth. Three more times, inhale. Exhale. Hold at the bottom. Drop the arms, curl the spine back up. Feel the energy travel up the spine and then exhale back down the spine. And so from our seat, let's inhale, reach the arms high. And we'll start with a side stretch, breathing into our ribs. And we'll keep ujjayi breath throughout our practice, in and out of the nose. Warming up the body, inhale, reach arms high. Exhale, switch sides. So in yoga, we're not just working on our physical body, but also our energetic, our emotional. And for some of you, you may even feel a spiritual connection. Inhale, reach the arms high. And then exhale, pop yourself up to a tabletop position. Move on to your mat. And move your hips back towards your heels to start. And then on the inhale, bend into your elbows, drop the belly for cow. Exhale, scoop and round back for cat. So kind of a moving cat-cow. Again, just warming up the spine.
using your hands to help you grip to the floor. And then come back up to your tabletop. And on the inhale, reach your right arm high. Maybe you roll the wrist out. And take a deep breath in. And exhale, thread your right arm through. Breathe into your right shoulder as you twist the spine. An option to hover your left leg and extend it back behind you. Breathing in and breathing out, release. We'll switch sides, reach left arm up, roll out the wrist, exhale, thread left arm through. Option to hover the right leg. Next exhale, release this side. And bring your hands to the top of your mat. We're gonna curl ourselves down to cobra pose on the belly. Inhale, curl up. Exhale, relax. And move with your breath. And the last one, hold at the top. And really press your legs down into your mat. So you lift the heart. And take a deep breath in. And deep breath out. And release the chest, interlace fingertips behind the back. Now on the inhale, everything lifts, arms, chest, legs. Get long through the back body. And then exhale, relax. Inhale, lift. Exhale, relax. And lift and hold on this last one. Breathe into your chest as you squeeze shoulder blades together. Slowly release. Press yourself back for a child's pose, knees wide, toes touching. Take a couple deep breaths into your low back. And then if you haven't yet, allow yourself to fully be here. Stay connected with your breath and notice the sensations in the body as we move throughout practice. Slowly come up, we'll move into downward facing dog. Take your time to stretch here. Probably the first down dog of the day, maybe of the week. So stretch the legs, the spine, the shoulders. And then find some stillness here. Press down through your heels and through your hands as you lift the sit bones up and melt your chest back towards the thighs. Take a deep breath in and deep breath out. Lift your heels high, bend your knees, look forward, stretch your toes, and then take your time to walk up to the top of your mat. Find the halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, hinge of the hips and fold forward. 
Let's do that two more times, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And curl all the way up to standing. Reach your arms, we're gonna interlace fingertips and have your pointer finger reaching up. Squeeze your biceps onto your ears and draw the low belly in as we side stretch to the right. And breathe into the left rib cage. Right, now stay on that right side, but turn your chest down and re keep reaching out to your right side with your fingertips. So you're feeling a little more stretch into your left low back. And pull back up to center. Bend elbows, bend knees. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, stretch over to the left side. So keep your chest open here, facing forward. We're getting into the sticky side ribs. Then start to turn your chest down and look off to the left. As you reach the arms, breathe into your right lower back. And slowly come back up to center. Bend elbows, bend knees. Reach up, look up, give yourself a little back bend without arching, you know, hinging too much in the low back. We want to keep the vertebrae long and even. Take a deep breath in and then exhale, fold forward again. Halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, slowly step back, plank pose. Hold your plank for a few breaths. Pressing the mat away, get strong through your arms, through your feet. Squeeze the quads. Then inhale, roll forward with your balls of the feet. Exhale, chaturanga to the floor. Inhale, lift up, cobra pose. Stretching the upper back. Exhale, release, press back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and out. Good. Step your left foot forward first. Find a low lunge. Look forward with a long spine, sink the hips. And then right foot steps forward to meet the left, fold forward. Curl all the way up to standing, reach the arms up. Exhale to heart center. Inhale, reach, full body stretch, exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, step back for your plank. Maybe step back with the opposite foot first. Start paying attention to your, uh, your patterns there. Now in plank this time, let's turn our toes to the right. Keep our shoulders square with the top of the mat. Hold and breathe. Pull back up to center. Exhale, switch. Toes to the left. Shoulders still forward. Just a nice twist through the spine. You can lower to the knees if you need to. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. You could also move into upward facing dog, lifting the thighs and the knee, kneecaps. Then press back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Look forward, right foot steps forward this time. Sink the hips. Low lunge. Inhale. Exhale, left foot steps to meet the right. Fold forward. 
Curl the spine up, reach the arms up. Exhale to heart center. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, fold. Starting to warm the body up. Keep your breath consistent with your movements. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your right foot back. Keep the back knee up this time. We'll peel up for a crescent lunge. <clears throat> Inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, sink into your lunge. Take two more breaths. Feel strong through the legs. Pull the abs in. Then exhale, float the arms back down. Step back plank. Flow through. Pressing back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in and out. Option to lift the left leg this time. Exhale, swing through. Little lunge. Look forward, exhale, step. Forward fold. Curl up. Reach up. Exhale, pull that energy into your heart. Other side, inhale, reach. Exhale, bow. Left foot steps back. Pull up to a crescent lunge. Nice and slow. Three deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale, hands down. Step back plank, flow through. Exhale, press back, down dog. Option to lift right leg this time. Exhale, big step, top of the mat, low lunge. Hold forward, relax. Curl the spine up, reach the arms high. Exhale to heart center. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Now we'll move back into some side stretches. Left arm, grab for the left wrist with your right hand. Stretch over to the right. Stay here or tap the right toes out and work on your balance through the left side. If your right leg is lifted, try to flex your foot and slightly turn the toes inward. And feel that nice stretch from your left hip all the way up through your left fingertips. And we'll release this side. Inhale, reach back up. Grab your right wrist, flow over to the left side. Tap the left toes out. Option to lift the foot, find balance. Nice, release this side. Feet go hip width distance apart. We'll move into our standing back bend. Open the chest, draw the tailbone down. Breathe here. So this, since this is a heart opener, we're increasing the heart rate. Might feel a little warmer. Stay with your breath. Next exhale, fold forward and pull your belly into the thighs this time. Shake out the head, yes and no. Side to side. Inhale, hands to the shins, halfway lift. And exhale, step your right foot back, plant the heel down for warrior one. Inhale, reach the arms. We're gonna keep a hinge forward today. So reach the arms up, biceps by the ears. 
And if you want a little more muscle energy, create fists with your hands. Deep bend in the left knee, straight and strong through the right. And I want you to really focus on squeezing that left glute. Get your glute to fire. Uh, one more inhale. And then exhale, place your right hand down to the mat on the inside of your left foot and reach your left arm up for twist. You have the option here to lift your back heel up so you're in more of a lunge. I'll probably give you a better stretch. Good. Then lower your left hand and I want you to just let that left knee fall out to the left side and breathe into your left hip crease. If you need a lower to your back knee, you can. I know it's kind of hard to see on this side. So keep your left foot where it is and just let the left knee fall out and breathe into your left hip. You can even lean forward for a deeper stretch. Nice, press back up. Step back plank, flow through. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Lift the heels, look forward, hop or step. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Curl and rise up, reach up, exhale to the heart. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Reach the arms back up, exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, lengthen the spine. And exhale, left foot back for warrior one on the other side. Find your, foot, your footing first. Build your pose from the ground up. And remember, we're gonna lean forward a little bit more today to work on neutral spine, and then to get that right glute to fire. So reach the arms, use your muscles. And take another deep breath in. Then exhale your left hand down. You can lift your back heel up. And we'll start to turn the chest open to the right. Reach the right arm up. Then lower your right hand and let your right knee fall out to the side. Maybe lower to your back knee as well. So then you can focus on your right hip crease. Maybe lean forward with the chest. Yours doesn't have to look like mine. Focus more on the feeling and the stretch that you're getting in that right hip. Then press back up, step back plank. Flow through. Back and down dog. Deep breath in and out. I'll lift the heels, bend the knees. Hopper step. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Curl all the way up, reach the arms. Exhale to heart center. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. The more we move, we can start to feel the energetic body waking up. So we'll take just a little step back with our right foot for pyramid pose. Your feet are grounded. We'll reach the right arm up. Left hand on the hip. 
Inhale, reach up, look up, exhale, curl down. Then long spine, slip the fingertips up to lengthen. Exhale, curl. Moving with the breath. And the last one, hold at the bottom. And fold over your left knee. Breathe into the hamstring. Then start to lift the chest and turn the chest to the left. Peel your left hip back in space. And then the last step will be to reach that left arm. Release both hands down top of the mat. Shift weight into your left leg and extend the right leg back behind you for standing split. You can stay here or you can start to get lighter in your hands and balance. Work on a flat back so your hips are even. Breathe into your left hamstring. And then tap your right foot to the back of the mat. Inhale up for a crescent lunge. Deep breath in. Exhale, hands down. Step back, plank, flow through. We'll meet back at the top of the mat. Curling up to standing, exhale to heart. Pause for a moment. Connect with your breath. And then we'll switch sides. Left foot steps back. Left arm reaches up. Exhale, curl down. Inhale, lift up. So wave-like motion with the spine. And last one. Hold at the bottom. You want both feet to feel grounded, so make any adjustments. Fold over the right leg. And then start to lift the chest and turn to the right. Revolved pyramid. Last step will be to reach the right arm. If you feel constricted here, that's pretty normal. This is a challenging pose. So just keep breathing. Release both hands down top of the mat. Shift weight into your right foot and extend your left leg back behind you. And get lighter in the hands maybe for balance if you did so on the other side. And step your left foot back for crescent lunge. Inhale, arms up. Feel that full body expansion. The next exhale, plant the hands and flow through. And no 
notice how I'm taking it a little more gentle today, going from my knees. You're welcome to do that as well, especially if your shoulders are bothering you or the low back. And we're gonna stay in down dog for our next transition. So bring your big toes together. And on the inhale, lift your right leg high. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, curl in, knee to nose. Inhale, kick up. Exhale, curl in. One more time. Step through in between the hands. Help out that foot if you need to. Plant your back heel down. Windmill open. For warrior two, right knee bends, left leg straight. <clears throat> Squeeze the kneecap. Gaze over your right fingertips. And then inhale, reach your right arm up for reverse warrior. And then a little different today, reach your left arm and clasp your thumbs up overhead. But continue to reach back like reverse warrior so you're breathing into your right side body. Nice. Inhale back to your warrior two. Then exhale to extended side angle using your forearm or you can reach for the ground. You can also work on your bind here, reaching underneath the leg, clasping hands, all just options. Make it your own practice. Uh, release, pull yourself back up to warrior two. And then exhale, hands down, lift your back heel, low lunge. Step back, plank, flow through. You can always rest in child's pose as well. And meet back in downward facing dog. We'll lift the left leg high. Exhale, curl in. Two more times. On the last one, drive your left knee. Step the foot forward. Plant your back heel down. Feet are in a long line together. And then windmill the arms up. Warrior two. And hold strong in your legs. Gaze over the left fingertips. And then inhale your left arm up. Then right arm reaches up, clasp the thumbs. And keep stretching back. Breathe into your left rib cage. Back to warrior two. Inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. Thinking about what you did on the other side. Maybe you can mirror on this side, even if it feels a little different. And slowly release, pull yourself up. Now this side, we're gonna turn to the side of our mat into a star pose, so heels in, toes out. Inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, squat. Good 
building energy in our legs and our pelvis, which is where our first and, uh, first and second chakras or energy centers lie. We'll do three more. On the last one, let's hold. So stay low in your squat. Maybe close your eyes and breathe through the sensation that you might be feeling in your inner thighs and quads. Focus on the breath, three more. Good. Inhale, reach back up, turn your toes forward, look up to the sky, inhale. Exhale, fold wide-legged over the legs. Bow forward. Maybe bend and straighten the knees a couple times. You could even add in some side lunges. Bending one knee and then the other. So come back to center, fold inward. And then bring your hands probably off of your mat, so they'll just be on the ground. Spread your fingers wide, and your wrists are right underneath your shoulders. Now you can stay here and just work on dumping more of the weight into your arms, lifting the heels. Or some of you may want to practice just a little hop. Shifting the weight. We'll do one more. Nice. Curl the spine up. Pause at the top. And then turn to the top of your mat. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale. Exhale. Uh, one more inhale. And exhale. We'll do one more balance pose before we come down to the mat. So tree pose, we'll shift weight into our left leg. You can bring the right foot up to a kickstand, inner calf, inner thigh. Or you could also work on a half lotus if you'd like. Bring your foot to that um, hip lining. So you're kind of pointing and flexing the foot at the same time and then dropping the knee down. That's just an option, something a little different. If you wanna grow up from there, lengthen through the spine through the arms. Try your best to keep the shoulders relaxed, but then active through your triceps. And when you're ready, you can release that side. And we'll switch sides.
And find a place to gaze. And the point right before meditation is concentration. So can you concentrate on this pose in this moment with your breath? Letting all the other spinnings of the mind release. And when you're ready, you can release this side. And back to the top of your mat. Bring your feet together and on the inhale, reach your arms up. And on the exhale, we're gonna to start to slowly bend the knees. Take your time on the way down, maybe holding chair for a few breaths. Then you can start to lift your heels so you're in a toe balance. If this bothers the knees, you can stay in chair. If some of you wanna work on your crow pose, you can bring your hands down and work on your arm inversion. Let's just take five more breaths, working on our feet. And if you're in toe stretch, stay in toe stretch, but move both of your arms over to the right. Bring your fingertips to the floor and get a gentle spinal twist. I even got a few pops out of that. Breathe into your twist. And then walk over to the other side. I'll come back to center. Slowly find a seat on your mat. And we're gonna curl all the way down to the back. We hug the knees in, a little rock side to side. And let's straighten the left leg all the way down. And then we'll straighten the right leg up for hamstring stretch. Roll out the ankle, pull the right leg in towards you. Keep holding onto the ankle or grab for the big toe and open out to the right side for inner thigh. And pull back up. And we're gonna send the right leg all the way over to the left. So shift your hips so you're in a spinal twist. It may feel better to have a bent, a bent right knee, or you can still reach for the big toe. The right hip is stacked on top of the left, and both shoulders are down. And use your outer leg strength. Pull back up to center. And you can release that right side. Bring your hips back to center as we shift to the left. Straighten the left leg. And stretch, breathe into the hamstring. And open out to the left side for inner thigh. And pull back up and go all the way across your midline. Shift your hips so your left can stack on top of the right.
Need to use your outer thigh to pull that left leg back to center and curl both knees into the chest again. Then lift your head and shoulders. If you're in a little ball, we'll do a double leg extension on the inhale, arms and legs reach. Exhale, wrap back around. Two more. Lower your head and shoulders down. We'll bring hands underneath the low back for support. And extend the legs back up to the ceiling. Point your toes. We're going to draw both legs in a big circle. One direction. For six. One more time around. And then we'll switch directions. All stemming from the core. Last time. Good, hug the knees into the chest, big squeeze. Bring your legs up to tabletop and we'll do bicycles. So lift your head and shoulders and release fingertips behind the head. Exhale, opposite elbow to knee. Inhale, center. Exhale, switch. One more side to side. Nice job, grab behind the knees. Do a couple spinal rolls, rolling forward and back. And we'll meet in a seat for a boat pose. Find your sit bones on the ground. Lift the spine. Maybe take a breath to reset. Then start to tip back and lift the feet, find balance. Option to release arms. You can straighten your legs a little bit more. Nice job. Crisscross your feet. We're going to come back down to the belly to help stretch the abs after all that crunching and abdominal work. Let's do Sphinx pose. So you'll bring the forearms down this time. And on the inhale, peel your chest up, but keep your belly and your lower ribs on the floor. And take a couple of deep breaths here. And you do have the option if you want to extend the arms, lifting the elbows. Only do that if that feels okay for the low back. And drop back down to the elbows. Lower the head all the way down and just rest for a few breaths on your belly. You're going to keep your hands on your forehead and everything's going to lift the arms, the chest, and the legs. 
You're balancing on the belly. Exhale the air. Inhale, everything lifts. Now stay lifted. Then we're just gonna lift the right elbow, look over to the right side. Come back to center. Look to the left. Come back to center. Lift straight up. And then exhale, relax. Breathe into the belly. Press back for a child's pose. Stretch your low back. And then we'll move into pigeon pose from downward facing dog. So lift back up to your down dog. When we inhale, lift your right leg high. Open the hip and the knee this time. Take a couple breaths here. You can kick the heel back towards the glute. And then exhale, swing the right shin across your mat into pigeon. Breathe into your right hip. And eventually you can come back down, maybe creating fists with your hands. So then you can rest your forehead down. Or if you have a block, you could use a block. Well, we want to feel a nice long spine. Turn inward, focus on the breath as it flows in and out like ocean waves. And stay active through your hips, pulling the right hip back and the left hip forward. Lifts your hips up a little bit in space, and keeps you active. When you feel complete on this side, you can press back up to your down dog, shake it out. And we'll switch sides, lifting left leg. And the option to step through. Eventually coming back down. And on this side, you want to think left hip back, right hip forward. Notice how this activation gives you a different stretch and just being passive. And to come out of this side, we'll swing the um, off to our left hip, swing the right leg forward. Our time went fast today. We'll curl back down to the back. And let's just do one bridge pose. So pelvic tilt, curl the spine up. Option to interlace fingertips.
And slowly roll the spine down. The windshield wiper the knees side to side. Maybe hug the knees in to reset the spine. It may feel nice to just bring the legs up to the ceiling. Get a gentle inversion with your feet higher than your heart. Great for our circulation and to reset the nervous system. You can start to feel the, co the cooling sensation and the feet, down the ankles, down the calves, kneecaps, into the thighs, hamstrings. A really nice pose to do against the wall. If you're having a hard time winding down or if you're if you have restless legs or if you just feel really fatigued you can do this pose five ten minutes. Reset the body the nervous system. Calm the mind. Stay here as long as you'd like, or you can start to drop the legs down and rest in Shavasana. Final resting pose. Here you can notice the four parts of the breath. the in-breath, the fullness and the pause at the top, the out-breath, and the emptiness and pause at the bottom. Stay in Shavasana as long as you need. Whenever you're ready, you can start to deepen the breath. Come back up to a seat. Notice how you feel. The direct correlation of yoga is union, union of mind, body, heart, and spirit. We can get glimpses of this absorption of this union of ourselves after practice and in Shavasana when we finally allow the body to relax. Take a deep breath in and out to close your practice. And take this union with you throughout the rest of your day and the rest of your week. Namaste.